Alright, so there was a guy that uh, messaged me or commented on a couple of my videos in regards to uh, uh, the, the, all the little handles here. We even uh, made like a response video. Uh, basically what we've got is, if you're pointing at this one, it looks like you've lost this little cap here. This actually is the emergency brake release that's, uh, you know, you press this in, it stays, mine springs come undone. so. It just kind of springs up and down. The next one is something to do with the uh, the air in the cab, I'm pretty sure. I can hear it inside the dash. So there's that. Uh, the little button that you'd been pressing inside here in the door frame, um, that's obviously going to be for your uh, interior cab lights. Now mine is not a brome, but I do have what I believe to be a brome Torino emblem here. Uh, mine is just a standard 76 Grand Torino. There's nothing really much else to it, but there are a couple of ways I'm pretty sure with the exception of this that you can tell whether it's a Brougham or not. First and foremost uh, At the front of the car where it says Grand Torino, it should say Brougham right underneath it uh, Another thing is with your back windows here um, I know that either both or one of the two the Torino Elites have an opera window. An opera window that'll be located right here. That a lot of guys have the vinyl top on it. And they end up trying to tack weld sheet metal and close those in so you can get the authentic two door hardtop like ours. Um, excluding that back window out. So I'm pretty sure that's the Torino Elites and the Torino Brougham.